throw and use physical force if necessary because some kids are just too stubborn. You're never gonna get them through talking and if you just put them through medication, well that'll affect them more, especially during their younger ages. Imagine you're five years old and you're already seeing a psychiatrist. Won't that affect you for a lifetime? And that's just our point. Your conscience is only there like to tell you if you're doing something wrong or right. If you're disciplining the kids, of course your intentions must be for the good, right? Then that's, that's not physical force anymore as a form of discipline. That will become physical abuse, which is not the topic. Pwede naman natin itong kausapin ng maayos at hindi naman yung pagpapalad sa bata yung magandang paraan para para matuto siya ng tamang asal. Do you think the child will listen to you? Oo. Bakit Why? hindi? Kasi ang bata, kung tinuruan mo siya ng ano, ayaw po sa anggur yun. Ngayon! <laughs> Yeah. 
But back in the day, when physical force was accepted, no drugs were used, and less murder was happening around them. Children grew up to be this independent, independent, and different. See how convincing physical force is? Paano kung masalay ang bata na kada mali na ginagawa ay sinasaktan? Hindi naman ano'y papaluin kada mali eh. Kapag alam naman na maling mali, bibigyan mo muna ng warning bago mo papaluin. Pwede mo naman siyang usapin at kahit hindi mo naman... At ano yung sinabi mo ka? Pwede mo naman siyang kausapin eh. Katulad ng sinabi mo kanina, balance. Balance dapat, may verbal force at may physical force. So, ang, ang sinasabi mo sa akin ngayon, na hindi lagi, na hindi lagi ay papaluin may bata, ganun. Hindi naman yung point eh, kaya justifiable. So, what are the grounds, uh, what are the grounds for that kind of punishment? Bibigyan mo muna ng warning ang bata. Pag ginawa niya uli ng pangatlong beses sa pangalawa,
Hindi nga dyan mapupusok.